so much data that is being used in the market in order to analyze and try to understand exactly all of the emerging trends. We need to actually have a better sense of how to manage this technology and have standardization so it's going to be used consistently. We have a mantra in Massachusetts, bad data, bad information, bad decisions, bad policy. It's important for us all to come together and try to think about the ways to have consistency and also good use of the data. Working through the NAIC, we need to come up with consistent models to make sure we preserve confidentiality, but also have consistent ways to make sure we are collecting it, storing it, and making that information available. It's something that we need to do carefully with the industry and also with consumer advocates so we have a clear passage for all the states. I think it helps everyone to have some way to think about this, not on an individual basis or on a company basis, but really collectively understand how it fits within our market to have information that helps everyone to really um, have products and also access to products available throughout the system. In Massachusetts right now, many healthcare related issues. We have a complete redesign of our mental health system, allowing for a change to how healthcare is delivered. It's not delivered through the ERs as it has been in the past. Beginning in January, we'll have new crisis intervention teams that are available throughout the states. Much challenge regarding how to deliver the care, make sure that payers know how to interface with the carriers um, to make sure, and the providers, to provide appropriate care. It's going to take a good deal of work over the for next six months to make sure there's not going to be any um, handoff problems and to make sure there's going to be people who can get care when they need it. Secondly, we had a new initiative that just was enacted in November that now requires that we regulate dental insurance the same way that health insurance is. All dental insurance companies will now have to have their rates reviewed and approved by the Division of Insurance for January 2024 and meet a dental loss ratio of 83%. We know this is a big change. It's being followed nationally and it's our goal to do it as quickly and efficiently as possible. I look for the industry to help us make sure it goes through smoothly.